Hello subscribers and viewers. Today we will see list view in Android. So list view you can say it is nothing but multiple button structure. So here you observe it is just looking like we have the four buttons. You can say multiple button. So in list view the main advantage is at a time you can see multiple option. This thing didn't happen with the spinner. In spinner only one atom will be visible. But here at a time all items will be visible to the user. Then user can select any options and perform the event handling or particular task. So that's why the list view components is more helpful for the user. For adding list view, you just drag and drop the uh, list view component in your application and after dropping in XML this code will generate. Here I have added some additional attributes like divide divider height and list selector so what about the meaning of that so the meaning is first we will discuss about the divider so divider is nothing but that horizontal line here you see between each component there is horizontal line so in between japan and england you assume this line is there that is nothing but the separator so this color is given by this divider attribute and by using this value I have given red color divider height that is the second attribute it represents simply the width or you can say the thickness of that horizontal line third one is list selector means after selecting particular atom that atom will have the different background color and the color as you can observe here this color is different than this one if you select this England then color will automatically change and it will be varied from first three item. So after selection also you can set the different color by using this attribute list selector. So for adding list view component you just go in activity file and you should add the array like that. So this is the simplest way to add the data in your program and by using string array suppose here I have added four country name then after addition you just create the array adapter object and if you see my previous videos then you are already familiar about the array adapter so one more time I am telling you in program first you should add data source so data source is nothing but this array in our program there are various way to add the data in your program so next step is array adapter create view so use of array adapter is it access the data from data source and that data will be added to your component in this case the component is list view means it is accessing the data and our data is nothing but india china japan england so that data after accessing it will be added in list view so that is the use of array adapter you can use like that it is having three types of value this represent your class name and our layout is simple and third one is country country is nothing but your array name and here l is nothing but list view object your last statement will be like set adapter inside it pass this variable array adapter variable by using this statement your database will be added in the list view component then this is the concept of array adapter and after that one more step is there event handling so event handling means by using this you can perform the action so for doing this you have to use list view object and set on atom click listener then after doing this this method will be automatically pop up and you should use this statement for accessing the particular value this is nothing but the text view object and it will represent particular row suppose you select this first row then for accessing this value you should create this object means it will this statement represent the row of your list view component suppose here I select India then after that this value will be stored in the my variable so that's why here in the toast message we are writing my dot get text 
if you select china that value will be stored in that variable means we are accessing the value from particular row and then finally we get the message like that toast message we get like you selected india suppose you are clicking on china then we get you selected china so in this way this uh, list view component work so i hope friend you understood this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will go on android studio and do the programming thank you